Hello and welcome back to another session of Brick Therapy. In this session, I will be opening, building, and reviewing LEGO City Set 60239 Police Patrol Car. This set was released in 2019 for $9.99. As of this review in 2021, it is still available for $9.99. For that price, we get 92 pieces and one minifigure. Let's check out the box. On the front, we see the patrol car zipping down the road, possibly an overpass. The car is going so fast, the cones are tipping over. At the top right of the box, we see what looks to be a fighter pilot. Not sure what it has to do with this set. On the back of the box, we have two images. The main one has a police patrol car going back the way it came on the front. And again, the cones are tipping over, but no worries. The top image shows the police officer picking up the cones. There's another image of the police officer and the cones on the top panel of the box. Let's open the box and see what we get inside. Inside, we have two bags, the instructions, a sticker sheet, and the main chassis of the car. I'm going to take 15 seconds to put the police patrol car together, and I'll come back and give you my thoughts on this set. Okay, here it is, LEGO set 60239, the police patrol car. The build for this car is very similar to my recent build of set 60285, the sports car. Maybe all the LEGO cars are built this way now. This is my only second modern LEGO car build. The patrol car is 4 inches or 12 centimeters long, 2 inches or 5 centimeters wide, and 1.5 inch or 4 centimeters tall. Its primary colors are blue on white, making it very community policing friendly. The patrol car can comfortably seat one minifigure in the driver's seat. To apprehend suspects, the police officer will need to call in a paddy wagon. The police patrol car has a very aggressive front bumper. It has blue flashers up front flanked by clear headlights. The only thing missing from the front is a push bar. Moving to the hood, we have a sticker with a large badge and the word police. From the front, we see the full width, low profile, all blue light bar. Moving to the side, we have blue side panels with a police sticker. From the side view, we see the 21 millimeter tires on 14 millimeter light bluish gray six double spoke wheels. We also see the very sleek profile, even a peek at the black spoiler. From the back, we see that the patrol car has a very aggressive stance. It has wide wheel flares and dual center exhaust. The trunk has a black lip to help with stability and to keep the rear planted during high speed. Moving inside, we have a yellow steering wheel and a dark bluish gray one by two by two thirds slope with dual gauges. Now let's look at the police officer. Here's Officer Chris. He has dark blue legs, bright light blue torso with a police shirt printed with a gold shield badge. There's a dark blue tie and the radio handset is clipped to the belt in the front. On the back of the torso is a police print and the police radio clipped to the belt. The head is printed with black and silver sunglasses, black eyebrows, chin dimple, and a grim smile. To top off the minifigure, we have a dark blue ball cap with a small hole on top. The set also comes with two orange cones to help with traffic control. The bad part is, there's no trunk to store or transport the cones. Chris graduated from the Brick City Police Academy three years ago. He is assigned to the traffic safety unit. He is dating a new recruit named Susie. She is currently assigned to the prisoner transport unit. Although they work in Brick City, they live together in Brickberry. Because of the high level of crime in Brick City, the police department allows the officers to drive their police cars home. Okay, thank you for joining me on this session of Brick Therapy and meeting another resident of my fictitious town of Brickberry. I hope you enjoyed my review of LEGO City Set 60239, the police patrol car. I'll see you on the next session soon. Take care.